Yes, my people. You know, I said it in one of my previous video that if Bola Met Nubu do not leave this uh, position easily, if he not leave this position with um with ease, that is going to turn into something else. A lot of people came out and start and start contending with me and start saying I'm saying nonsense. Even someone came out and said that we should not be we should not be saying fake what is what, what is not supposed to be. We should not be saying it to the people. We bloggers know what we are doing. That's why we are coming out to tell you what is happening in the country. I want you to stay connected at the end of this show so you go see what thing just happen. What thing they happen for this analysis? You go see say. We know they lie. We know they lie for a year. How desperate Bola Ahmed Nubu is. Now we see the desperacity of Bola Ahmed Nubu as to just become the president wrongly. I'll be back soon. See you soon. Andre Nereko. Yes, I'm not The whole of crime scene is happening in the street again. The center of political news, celebrity gossip, religious gossip. And happiness in the society. Join us, the voice of Africa. Hello, my great and wonderful viewers. Welcome you back to Lightport TV show. If you are new to this show, don't forget to click the subscribe button, the like button, the bell beside it, and also plan to drop your comment, your comment in the comment section so that you will be notified you anytime we drop any other video in this channel. Yes, my people, before I play this video for you, I just want to say one or two things to Nigerians. You must not be afraid to defend your country. You must not be. You must stand by your country. You must not support those that want to bring down this country, that want to destroy this country. You must not support them. Because if you support them, you don't know where your grandchildren, your generation may land. A lot of people are out there that are still, that are still supporting Bola Metunubu. After everything that the world that we the world have seen, after everything that we Nigerians have seen, a lot of people are still coming out to defend him. I'm not saying that you should, you should have to defend one person than than the other, but literally look at look at the the, the cases that are that are under Bala Metunubu. Look at what he has done. Is he really planning for the country or is planning against the country? I don't I don't know I don't I don't have anything against him but I'm just saying the fact that this man doesn't have anything good for this country is it by force that you must become the president presidency is not your best right it is the people that we that we vote that we vote that we maybe, maybe you should rule them or not but you're not trying to to take it by force it's not something it's not something that 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 is, is it should be it should be yours it is it is for the people to to decide and you are doing it you are doing it by force my people i want to stay connected to the end of this show so you now go see what in bola met to do for this video what he do today you will ask yourself is this is this normal man being is this normal man being my people i'll be back Please, stay connected to the end of this video. I'll be back. Now, anyone who has read the final written address of Labour Party would know that Peter Obi has a very strong case. And that explains why the APC guys are worried and terrified. Now, this man, this man here, David Hundain, the best investigative journalist in Africa, posted a very disturbing update last night. And if you know David, you will learn to take whatever he says seriously. Everything he revealed or hinted at has been seen to be true. And last night, he tweeted this. He said, This source has never told me anything untrue before. I hope this will be the first time. Because if not, then this was what the source told him. The president just rose from a meeting with Governor Uzodima, DG of SSS chairman icpc and instructed to go after tribunal judges and including the lawyers of atiku and peter obi please i heard this from a reliable source you have heard that 
very disturbing update and if this is true then we can assume that the plan to bribe the judges has not worked out well so the establishment is trying to look for ways to intimidate the judiciary so justice will not prevail and the people did not take it easily just within nine hours where the tweets drop the tweet was already viewed by one million people mostly youths and they began to promise to resist any form of intimidation against the judiciary look at some of the tweet reactions this tweet says there is no way out for bola Tinubu to escape disqualification at the tribunal this desperate plan cannot save him they will end up in shame nigerians will resist big time hmm. and this tweet here says thanks dave god will give us the wisdom to handle the wildness we don't need peace and forgiveness is a sin no weapon fashioned against peter obi and his distinguished lawyers and the obedient movement shall prosper if they want war we are ready let the chaos begin hey and this tweet here says this man is so desperate he is messing with the wrong generation and this tweet here says these people should not underestimate the power of the common man they will be surprised at how powerful the common man can be when he believes in something and wants to see it to the end mm. nigerians are really spitting fire here and to buttress this update peter obi came out few hours ago and he asked people that he referred to as agents of retrogression not to distract the judiciary that they should allow the judiciary to do their job look at how the paper reported that update don't distract judiciary obi-wan's agent of retrogression ahead of the judgment of the presidential election petition court the presidential candidate of the labor party in the february 25th 2023 elections peter obi has issued a warning to those he described as agents of retrogression to desist from conduct capable of distracting the judiciary from doing justice to the cases before them obi said this in a statement signed by the head obi Dati media office Dironifade in abuja on friday the media office said it watched with profound concern the orchestration by the agents of retrogression to distract and defocus the nation's judiciary from the critical national assignment before them. We find absolutely needless and utterly unacceptable some of the curious happenings around our judiciary lately, starting with the threat of anarchy and chaos should the ruling party's candidate be legally removed by presidential election petition courts. The allegation of a telephone conversation between the esteemed Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Olukayo de Ariwola, with some persons, which the Supreme Court has since denied, and most recently, the bizarre fake news claiming that one of the panelists at the ongoing hearing before the PEPC had resigned. Without a doubt, those behind these strange controversies have their devious motives, which certainly are not in national interest. Our judiciary should not be burdened by these distractions when their entire focus should be on critical national assignments, which requires their total concentration and everybody's support and cooperation to conclude. It is indisputable that the future of this country is tied to the outcome of the judiciary's assignment. Every hand must be on deck to help them pilot the ship of Nigeria state to safety away from perdition. Obidati Media Office therefore wishes to call on all patriots desirous of seeing a new Nigeria to desist from any action that may hinder the delivery of justice by their lordships. Relatedly, we also want to use this medium to warn these rogue troll and folk machine agents to desist from ongoing attempts to smear or entrap Peter Obi and Dati Baba Ahmed under whatever ploy. We recall at least seven failed fake demarketing and discrediting campaigns against our principals. We are all the more concerned about plans to escalate these desperate acts ahead of the PEPC judgment. Nigerians must not be gullible to believe or accept such deep, fake and dubious ploys all in the name of partisan politics. 
while we continue to appreciate our security agency's efforts to secure Nigeria, we implore them to ensure that our principals are safe and secure in their persons, movement, and properties as they go about their public and private endeavors. You don't hear Ramba? That was a statement by Peter Obi through his head, Obidati Media Office, Deran Onifade. And he's saying the judiciary should not be distracted. They should be allowed to do their work. And that gives credence to David Hunden's update. And for those of you who still have doubts about Justice Ugo's resignation, it has been referred to as fake news in this Peter Obi's statement. And in other news, hardship, poverty in Nigeria continues to increase. The level of misery and depression is getting worse per day. Just last night, it was announced that the fees, tuition fees of Unity Schools has been increased from 45,000 Naira now to 100,000 Naira for federal government colleges. <laughs> and even the tuition fees of universities, so see how Unilag, University of Lagos, school fees moved from 19,000 to 100 and waiting, 190,000 naira. Hey! <laughs> this man won't finish Nigerians. This man, and I don't even understand, he's not even hiding it. How can you remove everything at once? You remove subsidy on petrol, you remove subsidy on education, you re how will the low income earners cope? And in all these, the salaries of politicians are increasing. So you talk about sacrifice. It's always the poor that will sacrifice. Eh? The poor, they are the native doctors. They are the SMO that will do sacrifice. Eh? The rich will not sacrifice. Their salaries will continue to soar. Anyway, like I always say, it is good that all these things are happening now and that they are happening early because Nigerians, those that voted because of bigotry and religious fanatism, those that see everything through tribal lenses, they are now beginning to wise up. Oh, everywhere on the streets, on social media, people are complaining. Those who voted because of bigotry are regretting and we are saying there is still a chance Come now, let us put all our eyes on the judiciary so that they can do the right thing. Because suffering, poverty, insecurity, unemployment, you know no tribe and you know no religion. When the sky falls, no be one man problem. And we are saying all eyes on the judiciary. We are expecting to make them do the right thing for the sake of those of us who did this country now and for the children yet unborn. Just for people, thanks for staying connected to the very end of this video. For all Bola Amen Tunubu supporters, can you see what your godfather is doing? Can you see the person that you are shouting, that you are, that, that, that you are abusing a lot of people for? Can you see what he's doing? If someone that is reasonable, that is responsible for what or for all his actions, can do something like this then believe me that person is not worthy to be anything at all for in this country this person this man supposed to be put behind bars supposed to be put in jail to rot in there is it by force that you must force people to follow you to 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 to, to slavery to poverty see see i see the price of everything I went I went to market yesterday to get some things. Okay, let me say let me say I carried uh some of amount of money to get some some food stores. I couldn't buy I couldn't buy two percent of what I planned to buy in the market because of everything is expensive. Every every single thing is times two or times three or times four of it. Of its of its previous ones, and 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 some people are still there, still following him around. See what's in this DM, David. This investigator, David, um, said. See what in, see what in talk. See what in Tunubu. See what in the Tunubu plan to do for um, uh, Peter B lawyers, Atiku lawyers, and and the tribunal judge. Now by force. 
Now your birthright. If anybody see they follow this man, Bola, uh, Bola Ah, uh, that person, that person is is really a agent of, of of darkness. They should they should they should find a way to eradicate that person. I'm sorry to say. Nigerians, let us wake up. Wake up. Let, let us be wise. These people are not after the success of... They are not after our exile, our, our, our exile. They, 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 they want us to, to perish in poverty and make themselves rich. He, he, he came. He came. He didn't do anything. He increased the salary of, uh, of politicians. See, see, see federal staff. He hasn't paid them. Hey, people stay always stay connected to Light TV show for more for more news that are that are very very intriguing. Um, if you have not clicked the subscribe button, click the subscribe button, the like button, the bell beside it, and drop your comment in the comment section about what is going on, about what what Bola Mesunubu just did in 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 the comment section. <laughs> Don't forget, see you in my next video. Have a nice day. God bless you. God bless Nigeria. Thank you for staying connected and like what TV show. The message I can leave you as you want to you. So, all we do on this channel is to bring to you the keyboard to make a girl in America and outside America from the pausing of Jimmy Greg and Christmas to my business and the blue and play and all of that. So, we'll deal you with them that you have where I can come from them and also their profession as well. And guess what? Many of these promises are really, really coming through. So, just make sure you subscribe to this channel just to get more of the promises. Thank you, I think. Okay, so, see you next week.